Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick look at this brand new product from SpeedyB here. This is the SpeedyB adapter. This one is version 3. For those of you who have been watching the channel for a long time, you see me look at the original one, the very first adapter. This still lives on my bench, gets used occasionally. Uh, it just had a little uh, micro USB adapter on it. You powered it from a little battery, plugged it into your flight controller and away you went. Version 2 has been out for a little while. This is mine. It lives in my bag that I keep my main radio and goggles in. And it's with me all of the time because it's incredibly useful to have. Plugging it into the flight controller, you can just connect to it with your phone or tablet, whatever you've got with you. It allows you to access the configuration for things like beta flight, iNav, emu flight. And it has saved my bacon a few times when I've maybe been doing something on the bench and got distracted, packed up the model, taken it to the field, and I've left something unconfigured or configured in a way that wasn't going to work. However, there have been a couple of instances recently, particularly with the latest lot of flight controllers, where the USB-C style connector is becoming far more prevalent. And I've had two instances, probably in the last month, where I've had my uh, USB adapter 2 with me in the bag, uh, needed to change something, pulled it out and realized oh, I need an adapter or something to plug it in. So when SpeedyB started talking about this thing here, I thought, brilliant. They've actually listened to what pilots are doing. And this is what I like about SpeedyB. They, they do actually try and give us pilots uh, what we are asking for and usually give us a little bit more as well. But interestingly, this little thing isn't just a replacement for the original adapter. It has quite a few more cute things that it does. So I wanted to go through those in the video. And also, if you were just about to buy an adapter too, to tell you how to hold on, uh, this is the one that you want because it does some extra very cool things. So while I unbox it, let me go through the specs. Again, this is the SpeedyB Adapter 3. Runs on 1 to 6S batteries, or 3.8 volts for 1S. A XT60 connector on it and a PH2.0, so you can use it with your Whoop stuff. It's in a case this time, which is really good for keeping it nice and safe, made of ABS. The Silicon data cable is dual ended. One is a micro USB connector, the other is a USB C. It's 25 by 22 by about 54 millimeters and weighs about 35 grams. You're going to need an Android 6 or later or an iOS 12 or later phone or tablet to connect to it. And the connection is over Wi Fi or Bluetooth. The Wi Fi distance is very short, it's only about 5 meters. So you don't get an awful lot in the box, but then you don't really need it because everything you need is in there already. In addition to everything that the previous adapter could do, where you could just plug it in and use it, this new version has a couple of really cool features, as I mentioned. First of all, it allows you to now download black box files and analyze them. At the moment, unfortunately, it's only beta flight and EMU. Hopefully iNav will come soon. It also has a BL Heli S firmware updater on it now as well. Plus, this thing is also a LiPo checker. What a fab idea. By plugging your LiPo in, it actually reads off on the screen exactly what the voltage is. If it's green, it's above 80%. If it's white for the indicator, it's between 40 and 80%. And if it's red, it's below 40%. But the other cool thing that I'm really impressed at is this thing is also a fast USB charger too. Brilliant for radios, goggles, action cameras, loads of stuff that we have at the field that need topping up. Supports mainstream QC 3.0, AFC, Apple 2.4 amp, which is Apple 6S and above really, and other fast charging protocols where the charging power up to 30 watts is claimed. I haven't pushed it that far. Overcurrent protection, short circuit protection, over temperature protection. This is going to be fantastic when I'm at the field when things need topping up and I've got a spare battery. You could also potentially flash your firmware onto the flight controller and update your ESCs using this as well and go through and do the, the, pretty much the full configuration. So if you really wanted to, you could kind of get away without a computer and set up um, your quad or your whatever you're flying. I'm not sure I'm quite 
there yet and going to be that brave but the fact that they've put all this technology into this little thing is very welcome and shows that they're really thinking about what we want as pilots so props to speedy b for making an updated version with the usb c connector that I was after with all of these extra additional pieces as well for me the big thing is the fact that it now has a usb c as well as the micro usb which means it'll fit pretty much all the flight controllers that I have here. I love the fact it is now Bluetooth, it has the black box downloader and analyzer, the ESC firmware updater, a 30 watt USB charger, and a LiPo voltage checker. This kind of feels like the Swiss Army knife of the hobby. And this one is going to be in my bag and replace that original adapter 2 with this new adapter 3 because those are the kind of features that I'm going to be using on a daily basis while I'm at the field, particularly the USB charger and also the ability to plug into the latest flight controllers with those USB-C sockets. I am fascinated to see what else they're going to cram into this if they make a version 4. They're going to add a servo tester, battery resistance measurement, a hand warmer, maybe one of those little tools for picking out the stones and horses' hooves. Who knows? But for now, if you have been thinking about getting uh, something like this Speedy B adapter to do things at the field and to configure stuff without having to take your laptop or being able to easily do things like check your batteries and also do things like charge action cameras, radios, other bits from uh, a LiPo battery that you plug into it, uh, this is fantastic. This is one of those cool things in the hobby that exceeds your expectation. Well done, Speedy B. If you were thinking about getting one of these and you've been umming and ahhing for a while, my advice would be get one of these. You'll be glad you did, and it'll be worth its weight in gold when you need it at the field to change a setting to continue to fly. Thank you for spending your time today watching that video. You can find me in all the usual places on social media. And if you're trying to learn about a subject, then check out the playlist. All of my videos are organized into easy to follow playlists that if you're trying to learn a topic, will take you from the basics right the way through to some pretty advanced stuff.